So on page three, we're going to take scientific notation and try and write it in decimal notation. So we'll look at these examples. Okay. But before we begin, just let's try and understand this. If we had five times ten to the negative two, okay, ten to the negative two, a negative exponent means a reciprocal, so it should be one over ten squared, which is one over a hundred, which is zero point zero one. So this would be five times zero point zero one, or five cents. So it'd be zero point zero five. Okay. And 5 times 10 to the negative 3 would look like this. 10 to the negative 3, of course, is 1 over 10 cubed, which is 1 over 1,000, which, of course, is 0 0.001. Now, 5 times that would be, you know, 5 thousandths, which is 0 0.005, isn't it? So that makes sense, doesn't it? So just understand these examples. Look, if, if, you, if, you, if you were to, to just move your decimal point, if I want to calculate 5 times 10 to negative 2, um, the, I know it's, an, it's a negative exponent on the 10, so this is going to be a small decimal, 0 0.05, we know that. So um, I need to move the decimal point 1, 2 spaces to the left, because this is a 2 here. And if I did that, then I'd have to put in a 0. So there we have 0.05, and that's the answer, 0 0.05, same thing, right? You can put a 0 here if you want. Similarly with this. My decimal point starts here on the 5, and it's 5 times 10 to the negative 3. So I can just go 1, 2, 3 spaces to the left, because this is a small number. So yeah, basically, don't, don't think about left or right. Just think, this is a small number. So I need to turn it into a small number. So I need to go this way. You know, Is it a big number or is it a small number? That's all you've got to think about. So it's a small number, so we, we do that. And if I do that, then I'll put a point here, and I'll put some zeros here right, in the space, so it's 0 0.005, so we get 0 0.005, which of course is the same thing as 0 0.005, right, so if I had to do this crazy one, negative 1 1.704 times 10 to the negative 18, I would take the decimal point, and I would move it over 18 spaces to the left, now I better start over here, because look, Negative 1.704. Uh, I'm going to take this, move it over 18 spaces. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and stop. Okay? So how many zeros is that? Well, I went over 18, and this, you know, this negative 1 guy, he's kind of in the first jump. So it means I've got 17 zeros here, right? So they've got 17 zeros. These are all zeros I stick in here, right? So, I mean, you don't have to write all this out in your homework, but just want to show you exactly what's going on. So my decimal point goes here, and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 zeros. Then I go put the one there. Of course, it's a negative number, so put the negative out here, see? Put the one there, then 704, and I'm done. So negative point, 17 zeros, and then 1704. You can put a zero in front to the left of this one point if you like, but it doesn't matter. Either way is fine. Okay. So if we were looking at this, the length of a salmonella bacteria is 1.5 times 10 to negative 6 meters. Change that to scientific notation, or to decimal notation, rather. Change that to decimal notation. Press pause and do that one. So once again, you would just write down your 1.5. It's times 10 to the negative 6, meaning it's a small decimal number because it's a negative exponent on the 10. So I can just use this, move this decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places to the left. Put it here. And I jumped six places. This one took up one place, so that means I've got five zeros to stick in, right? So the answer, of course, is just simply um, point one, two, three, four, five zeros, then a one, then a five, and you can put a zero here as well if you like. Okay. 
And of course, you know, 10 to the negative 6 is 1 over 10 to the power of 6. It's 1 over a million, which is 0 0.001. So if you went 1.5 times that number, you will once again get 0 0.12345 zeros, then a 1 out of 5. If you wanted to multiply it out and check it. Okay, the distance between Earth and Mars is 3.6 times 10 to the power of 7 miles. Are we talking about a big number or a small number? Big number, right? 10 to the power of 7 is a big number. So 10 to the power of 7 is what as a decimal? Isn't it a 1 and how many zeros? 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. 7 zeros, right? 10 to the power of 7 is, is a 1 and then 7 zeros. It's 10 million. So if I went 3.6 times 10 million, like 3, what's 3 times 10 million? That would be 30 million, right? So 3.6 times 10 million, wouldn't that be 36 million? Right? And that's the answer, 36 million miles. Now, can't I do it this way? Take the 3.6, it's 10 to the power of 7, means it's a um, big number, and I can move this decimal point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places to the right and put it there. And how many zeros do I need to fill in? Well, the six takes up one jump, so I've got six zeros left to write in. See that? So three, so basically I get, you know, three, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six zeros, and that's the answer. Thirty-six million. So you can just move your decimal point. That's another way of doing it. So press pause and do this one. The mass of our moon is 7.36 times 10 to the power of uh, 22. I think that's kilograms. So calculate, uh, write this in decimal notation. And once again, you can just go 7.3, you know, 6, and then go, okay, 10 to the power of 22. I'll make 1, 2, and then 20 jumps, so, you know, to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, 20 jumps, put the decimal point here, and then fill in all these zeros. Now, I made 22 jumps to the right. Move the decimal point to 22 spaces to the right. Uh, now, the 3 and the 6 take up two of those spaces, so there are 20 left. Okay, so I need 20 zeros. So I go 7, 3, 6, and then 20 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you know, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and that's the answer. Whatever that number is. And, you know, after every 3, I guess you should put in a comma. Oops, of course, I didn't do it particularly neatly, but there you go. So let's see, this is a million. Oh, so this is a thousand, a million. A billion, a trillion. I don't know what the rest of them are. I don't know why. We should. Um, so we've got basically, if we call this a trillion, then that's a million, 73.6 billion trillion, I guess you could call that.